So the very first thing I'm going to teach you right now is the ultimate basics of using video. I'm going to show you how to make a video backdrop for your shows or your presentations. And it's very, very simple. We're going to use a static image, something like a JPEG or a uh, PNG um, image. Um, QLab can take a wide range of different file types. But for me, JPEG and PNG files are the two standard files that I use all the time. Obviously, there's a big difference. JPEG is a standard photograph, as most of you know, and a, uh, a PNG is going to have an alpha channel to it, which means you can see through it. So PNGs are used a lot for uh, logos in my show, when I want to put a logo in front of a backdrop. And uh, you probably wonder why not just put that in the, the uh, image directly in Photoshop, and I'll get to that later when we do layers, but I'll show you exactly why you may not want to do a single graphic. But uh, right now I'm going to show you the very simple step of giving yourself a nice beautiful backdrop for your show. Let's see, you want to use a red curtain. So let's take a look at that right now. We're going to go down here and open a QLab workspace, and uh, I have here some uh, ready to go images. Uh, one is our curtain image. We're going to drag that right into the workspace. Now, you see that it instantly comes up with a red X. Now, I know this may seem kind of uh, like a pain in the butt, and it may seem like that when you only have one screen and one um, uh, surface to use. Why is it coming up with a red X? And the reason it's coming up with a red X is because it doesn't know where you want that image to go. Now, like I said, if you have one screen, it's like, why doesn't it go there automatically? Well, in my show, I have multiple surfaces, multiple projectors. I have side screens, sometimes a left side screen, a right side screen, a left column, a right column, and a back wall, and a projection screen that comes in and out during the show. So each one of those surfaces are different dimensions, different sizes. Some are broadcast to two screens at the same time. In some cases, I only project the left side screen or the right side screen. So QLab needs to know the image that you just dropped into the workspace, where is that needing to go. If it did it automatically, it's a good chance it would make a big mistake. So yes, you do need to connect which screen you want to put it to. To do that, you just highlight the image. You're going to go down here and make sure that this is on the Display and Geometry tab. And you're going to go here, it says Video Surface, and it says No Surface Selected. You're going to click the little drop down window, and in this case we only have one surface, it's very easy to figure out, and it says the QLab TV, which is my TV that's connected right here, it's my little flat screen. We're going to click that, and you can see uh, the X goes away automatically, meaning everything's fine. So if you click that, you now see in your little display window right here that uh, your entire backdrop will fit just perfectly into that. So if we click the click button, um, my entire uh, red curtain is now on my video screen, which is out of the shot at the moment. Um, but that's it. So let's do the same exact thing, but this time with the PNG file. If I go here and uh, da -da -da -da, I have a logo of my QLab tutorials, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hit um, QLab TV and we're going to pop that on and now that is on my screen where it needs to be off on that side. Uh, it is an alpha channel so if you happen to have a backdrop uh, in the background it's going to go on top of that. Remember that. Uh, this is going to become very beneficial later on but just so you know if you happen to have a video playing in the background and you add a logo it's not going to black out the video and put that logo in front you're going to be able to see through which is sometimes really cool and I use that a lot in my shows. Um, but in this case we have a curtain right here you hit go and the logo now is on the LED wall or the curtain or the TV, or the screen or the TV or wherever it needs to go. So that's it. Really, really simple, very basic, simple image onto the projection screen you need. And uh, that's your first cue. Let's go a little bit more advanced right now.